Well, I'm going to work on the 704 again. This time I want to work on the belt guard. There's a couple of problems with this belt guard. First, the bottom's tore up here. Looks like something smashed into it and maybe ground on it. And this mounting bracket is broke off of the frame. You can see what's left of it on the frame there. Usually I have to replace this mounting tab. But this one's in pretty good shape. So I want to get what's left of this bracket off of here. And then I'm going to clean it with the wire brush. On this decal here, you always want your wire brush bristles moving off the decal, not towards it. Now right here, you can see I just messed up the right side of that decal. Because I was looking at the top while it was tearing up the right side. At this point I hadn't noticed it yet. But here's a close up of what that looks like. So that's how you're not supposed to do it. First I want to fix where this bolt hole is dented in. On this bottom edge, some of that metal has been worn thin and folded over. So I'm just going to rip it off of there. It's easier to replace that than to fix it. There's an area here that's dented in, so I got it on the sandbag to hammer it flat. Now the bottom needs to be hammered back down, but it's pretty stiff next to that bend, so I need it on a hard surface.
I got this on the end of an anvil so I can try to get this edge back down where it's supposed to be. Next I need to get what's left of this piece off of the frame. The belt guard's being held in position by the upper bolts, but this lower bolt doesn't line up. So I'm going to need to bend that bracket a little bit. You can just barely see the bottom of the threaded hole, so I'm going to bend it down about a quarter inch. I'm going to tape measure from the floor and see if I can go about a quarter inch. Well, I still need to go down some and forward quite a ways. Alright, that looks good there. The bolt won't go in there, so I gotta clean the hole out with a tap. Well, the tap wrench is against the tire. So I need to use some tap extensions. Well, 
Well, it looks like the length of this piece should be about an inch and a quarter. This is the piece I want to recreate. And I got this piece of bar stock that's the right size. So I just need to bend it and drill the hole. Bending at the right length is the hard part. This can't be a really tight bend or I might split the metal. So there's got to be a radius there. That means it's hard to predict how long it's going to come out. So I expect to make this part twice. The first time I'll just guess at the dimensions. Should come out kind of close. But if you can do it in a controlled manner, measure how far it is off, and make some adjustments, then the second part should come out good. This short section looks like it's almost 5 eighths of an inch long. So I'm going to call it 5 eighths, and I'm going to make the other end the same length. This middle section looks like it would be about 7 eighths. Now I want to know the total length. So if you add all these eighths up together, I get 17 eighths. Now 8 goes into 17 twice with a remainder of 1. So that's the same thing as 2 and 1 eighth. Well, it's pretty important to bend this in the right place. So I need more precision than I can get from a magic marker. I'm going to mark the area on this piece of metal and then mark it more accurately with a scribe. So I'll have a mark at two and an eighth inches long. And another mark, five eighths from each end. Well, you don't want to bend your metal by hammering on a square corner. If you bend it too tight, it'll weaken it. So I got this piece of metal that's the same height as the vice jaws. And I ground a radius on the corner of it. That way the metal will bend around the radius. And it won't be a weak spot. So I can't claim that the center of the radius is going to be right on this line. The whole point of this is I need repeatability when I make the next part. So I'm trying to line up the line with the top of the block. When you do the second bend, you have to add a piece of metal in here to clamp it. I need this finished piece to be an inch and a quarter high. So I want to make it three thirty seconds of an inch taller. I want to add the three thirty seconds to this center section. 
So I'm going to add 3 30 seconds to 7 eighths. You need a common denominator to do that. So I have to convert this 7 eighths fraction to be in 30 seconds. So if you have to multiply 8 by 4 to get to 32, then you need to do the same thing to the 7. Multiply the 7 by 4, and that gives you 28. So 7 eighths is the same thing as 28 30 seconds. Now you add 3 30 seconds to that, and you get 31 30 seconds. So that's what this dimension in the middle should be now. Now I need to come up with the total length. So to add these together, I need the common denominator again. So 5 eighths converted to 30 seconds is the same as 20 30 seconds. So now you add 20 and 31 and another 20 and you get 71 30 seconds. Now 32 goes into 71 twice with a remainder of 7. So my total length now is going to be 2 and 7 30 seconds. Now I'm going to make the second one the same way I did the first one. Well, that turned out a tiny bit shorter than I wanted. So I'm going to make a little adjustment. That looks pretty good there. An inch and a quarter is what I was shooting for. This piece is rotated around the wrong direction. I'm just looking at the height here. And that looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to put a threaded hole in it so I can bolt it in position.
All right, I got it bolted in position. This is what it looks like from the back side. I'm going to hold it in position with a C clamp so I can weld it. The bolt's rubbing on the edge of the slot here, so I'm going to loosen the clamp and move it just a little bit. That looks pretty good there. I'm going to go with that. The hole needs to be up a little higher to be in the middle of the slot, so I'm going to adjust it up a little bit.
All right, the bolt goes in nicely. And the hole looks like it's right in the middle of the slot. Well, that's as far as I'm going this time, and here's what it looks like. Alright, that's it.